Hi guys, this is lesson number 9 from our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful object uh, in Coral Draw. The main objective of this exercise is to give you more practice about the shape editing commands. This uh, vector object we will create uh, by using only three commands, weld, intersect and trim. As you can see, so guys, let's get started. I'm going to move this object to the side. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to create this, uh, the upper portion. So we'll select ellipse tool. Okay, now we need to get this effect that uh, some liquid, some coffee is inside. So to do that, while it is selected, we can press plus key and bring it down a little bit. Select both of them. The first thing we will use intersect. Okay. So now we get intersected part and move this here. So you can see that this is how we have. Another object I want inside here. So we'll just press plus. Reduce the size. Okay. So now here we have three object one, two and three. Uh, now what we need to do, we need to uh, create this one, this part. Okay. So simply I will click here to take the ellipse, pick tool and we will take a rectangle. Alright, so we need to trim this uh, oval. So select the rectangle first because the first selected object will remain safe and the second will be trimmed. So select this rectangular shape, press shift key and add, click on this object. So both of them are selected. Now you go here and click on trim. So you can see that we got this trim part and we don't need this anymore. So adjust it, bring it here. So this is how we have. Now the lower portion we need to create here. Once again, we can make a rectangular shape here. This way, select this shape and click on this, this part to add selection. So both of them selected. So we need to align center. First select this and then select this. So this object will be aligned with this. Object, align and distribute and click on align center vertically. So you can see that this object move in the middle. So you need to select this object first. So the first object it will be aligned. So now we need to go to the shape tool and using shape tool we can apply radius to the rectangle. So this how we have we need to get here a little bit uh, roundness so object convert to curve this is now a shape that we can uh, edit with the shape tool so click here click on shape tool click exactly in the middle here and click on segment convert to curve just bring it down a little bit so that's it now we need to weld this object with the uh, body with this object so click on pick tool and press shift key and select this object. So both of them are selected and here we have uh, command weld. Okay. So now both objects become one. Down here we have suser. We need to create this uh, also with the ellipse. So select the ellipse. Just draw a simple ellipse this way. Press plus key to make a copy. Press shift key to resize from center. Okay, and uh, from here I will just stretch a little bit this way. Now we need to create uh, this part, so it is giving a little bit 3D effect here. To do this, we need to create another oval. Approximately you need to align from both sides and uh, you can see that you can go back to the pick tool select it okay we can create once again a rectangular shape here all right so now we need to uh, trim this part this so rectangular shape is selected press shift key and click this and click on trim so we have a trimmed part this part exactly we need uh, and we can delete the rectangle and bring it here. 
just align from both sides you can uh, more precisely align I am just recording so it might not be perfect this is done already now here we need to create this part so select okay press plus key so here we can apply maybe combine so both of them become one and bring it here desired place select first this cup and then handle by pressing shift key select this and click on trim so you can see that this part is trim and now you can use shape tool if you want to a little bit reshape okay so this is how we have done here you can see that this part we have and uh, it is uh, coming inside here it is intersecting so what we can do we can trim this part with this circle okay while this uh, circle is there we need to adjust from both sides a little bit so to make it sure that lower part the body of the cup it is in this area it is inside the circle circle is selected press shift key and click on this this object and click on trim simply so you can see it's trimmed already and uh, now here this object we can move up a little adjustment okay here we don't need because this will be hidden now we are going to fill the colors select this object bring the toolbox outside here so we can see all the colors okay now the liquid inside I can make it a lighter color maybe this one and uh, here inside little bit different variation I can give okay that is fine here same color left click to fill the color and now in this area same color we will add and inside okay so this object I will fill also with the same color and we will send it back object order to back of the page so you can see that this part is here but I want to change the color here I want to get the color variation from this color so I will show you here a small trick how to mix color in Corel Draw let's say this color is filled in this object same color and I want to make it little bit more dark so press control key and click on any color that you want to mix with this color so I want black to make it dark keep clicking and you can see that now the color has been changed so any color you want to mix into other color you can select the object and click any color okay that color it will be mixed with the current color so that's all now we need to bring this mug in the front object order to front of the page okay now we have outline around we can remove all outline we we don't need outline with this select everything and right click here so this is how we have now here is written text coffee time and there is an oval this is simple uh, you know already how to do that so I will just copy from here and uh, place it in this area one more thing and we can bring it in the front object order bring to front to front of the page one more thing you can see that this strip here we have this is also a little bit tricky this is what we will create with the rectangle tool okay select the rectangle and draw simple rectangle here okay convert to curve object convert to curve and click on shape tool select the lower line first and click on convert to curve segment okay and click on this segment also convert to curve and drag it down somewhere here okay so it is fine but if you want to make a little bit more alignment from the corner from the sides you can use directional handle also select this point and you can see that there is a directional handle I can bring it back this way yes 
so it's uh, all up to you how you want to adjust the things select the lower points and having also these points carefully you can do that now simply we can intersect this object with this this is selected press shift key and click this object and click on intersect so we got intersected part we can delete this and uh, that intersected part is somewhere here okay so you can see it is selected and we can give some color like this so that is done already after that if you want still you can use shape tool to adjust okay so that is fine and here you can see that uh, we have some you know steam or maybe you can say smoke how to get this nice effect uh, I will show you here is one tool you can see that in your computer freehand tool is the first tool so that will be active so from the freehand tool you need to come down here B Supline okay B Supline it is very good tool for new uh, user Coral Draw new user pen tool is a little bit complicated but B Supline is very easy to create curve path let's try that click on B Supline from freehand tool you need to come here B Supline okay so simply just click that way you can see I am just clicking I am not trying to make a curve or anything and itself it's go and double click to close once this is there you can use the shape tool and you can adjust these points you see that I will bring it up here and uh, if you want you have option here once you are in the shape editing mode you can select the point and here you can even delete the point see I deleted this point and if I want somewhere to add the point I can click it and there is another option here delete the point and add the point so this way I can add point and that's it so we need to make it a little bit simple and uh, that's all we can adjust it and bring it here all right so B spline is very nice tool to create easy curved path or shape now we need to add the stroke it is five point I will bring it three right click on gray color while it is selected with the pick tool press plus key so we can copy maybe only two variation is enough all right so that's all hope you enjoy this lesson and guys practice this guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you